Hey guys, so you know I typically don't make videos the day of. I feed you videos for week, two weeks in advance. But this one, especially in my other channel, is a barn burner. So, Boogie29888 or 2998 used to be one of the largest magic content creators online. This was nine, 12, nine years, 12 years ago. He got caught faking cancer. That reminded me of another Magic player who got caught faking his spine injury. And when asked to provide evidence, he ran away to the UK. So Boogie, who has been faking cancer for the last two years, was offered $80,000 just to show evidence that he had cancer. This is the same Boogie that scammed his audience for $10,000. So... Again, you would think for $80,000, he would definitely be all in, right? He would be, well, that's a lot of money, Boogie would say, and say, hey, man, I'm, I'm down, I'm down. But that's not what Boogie wanted to do. That's not what Boogie, somebody who's desperate enough to scam with a crypto coin. Nope, uh, he simply wants to get, you know, just be harassed and, and not prove any of his haters wrong. Very anti-boogie-like. In one of these conversations uh, in the locale, they talk about Buggy trying to sell his magic cards. So again, I have had issue that he has scammed individuals, his own subscribers, and he still probably has at least 50k in magic cards easily sellable given the product I've seen. Buggy is... Boogie. I mean, he is just one of the most disgusting human beings you can imagine. He did a crypto coin, and this is, and in fact, the faking cancer was in line of the crypto coin. And then now he's going to leave the internet. And one of the locale members asked him, or Mito asked him on locale live, what are you going to do? Sell magic cards? And he still refused to sell magic cards. So He's going to leave online. He's going to delete social media. He's never going to sell no more Magic Card. Or, but he's still refusing to sell Magic Card. He has a young girlfriend who does not work. And he's supposedly going to support her for the rest of her, his life. Uh, this is a bad. This is the worst that it has ever been for Boogie. I don't remember. I mean, there are people who fake cancer a lot online. But in terms of Boogie or in terms of a bigger YouTuber, um, nope. This is really sickening. And it reminds me of another guy. This isn't the first time I've heard this song and dance, right? This song and dance. Uh, we know that there is another guy and his name was Wedge. That's not his full name. His full name was Anthony. And... He faked his he faked his injury. He was told by doctors multiple times, do not travel, do not travel, do not travel. He not only traveled once, he traveled a second time and he injured himself in Las Vegas. He refused to show his bills. He had spent all the money, I believe, on OnlyFans. He was fan he was tweeting the Mebo character on OnlyFans like almost every every one hour, which is crazy because he went to Las Vegas and got injured to meet his, quote, future wife. As soon as the money cleared, he ran away to the UK. Now, he recently made a comeback. Uh, this was like a year ago, and it utterly flopped because people are stupid, but they're not that stupid. It's kind of like even the most stupid animal in the kingdom can understand, hey, if this snake bit me and I almost died, I probably don't want to mess around the snake. So even a lemming will understand that concept. Uh, but my God, there are a lot of lemmings. Anyway, yeah, Boogie's a disgusting human being. Uh, he's getting ripped apart every single place. He's getting ripped apart. And there is no safe haven for him. He's going to be torn to pieces. This used to be the Tolarian Community College of Magic. You guys won't believe me when I say this, but I'm, I'm being 100% serious. 
serious. His reputation used to be really good. Um, people enjoyed him. Uh, they enjoyed the content he made. And now, look at him now, and it's just something that you couldn't even, I couldn't even imagine in a million years that this is what he resulted in. In fact, one of his most popular videos, and this was a incredibly popular video at the time, was Francis like flipping a table. That video at the time had, was the most viewed Magic the Gathering related video of all time on, on YouTube. It's still probably one of the top 10. And now you look at him scamming people for cancer. This is what like you don't. This is why I tell you the MPL, OnlyFans, Wedge, Anthony, what's his name is Wedge, the Man of Source, right? This is what people deteriorate into. Just constantly begging for money. It's like, guys, get a job. Like, I don't want to be mean to these people. Like, some of them actually do really good stuff. Toyin Community College, props to him. And, but a lot of people just, uh, they rely on the, quote, community. And whenever they bring out community, I know they might have to have an OnlyFans. Like, it's 10 out of 10 times, it's pay me money on my OnlyFans. You know, I called out. Let me share like a, a, a personal story. Um, I called out this individual. I forgot what his name is. I can probably check it up right now. I have uh, his tweets and uh, uh, Allison, no Ryan Allison. That was his name. And I posted on my Umu thing. And my, again, I, I don't really, I rarely post on Facebook. My Facebook is a lot sh stronger now. I want to, those people to leave me bad reviews now. I would just tr crush them. Facebook uh, has doubled in subscriber counts, and it's pretty. Interesting group of people. Um, and Ryan Allison worked for a competitor of mine in Dallas who I knew via a friend. And he said the most racist things, most horrible things. I have it all screenshotted on the Facebook and I actually made a few videos on it. And then uh, he made death threats. He And then I, I had it all screenshotted and I sent it to his boss. And his boss immediately said, you know, why is he doing this at company time? All right, we'll talk with him. And after talking, confirming everything I said was real, they let him go and they let me know they let, let him go. Uh, he had his brother attack me uh, online. Uh, I, it actually wasn't his brother. It was his, he had a sister. It was his brother-in-law. What we were fighting over was the moderator of the largest MTG Facebook group had posted a picture of herself nude covered only by... Um, by magic cards and one of the posters said hey um is this really what we want because this is like a family page for young kids like why is one of our moderators doing this and so i i said you know what yeah that, that's interesting i'll post it on my uh youtube on my facebook and then i got 25 one-star reviews across my google business and my facebook and uh, i guess the also the uh glass door gives a shit about that um, so I said, and who's the ringleader? Oh, it's Ryan Allison, the moderator. I found him on LinkedIn, um, again, and I, I tried to contact him and tried to say, hey, why are you doing this? And this is the attitude of people. They don't have jobs. They never want jobs. They want to, they want you, you have a job. They want to take your hard earned money and fund their lifestyle. They will go on and sell corn videos for half off to fund a $700 vacation. Boogie, right after scamming his his subscribers of $10,000, you know what he did with the money? He went on a vacation with his girlfriend. He lied about how he got the money. He lied about, I mean, it is a sickening, you know, and he's going to get what, like, here's the one thing I know. I've been on, I've been one of the oldest Magic the Gathering YouTube channels and older than Alpha Investment, older than Tolerian Community College. And the one thing I know is if you're Puka Trade, you're the monthly Magic Box, you eventually will get what's coming to you. Because people are stupid, but they're not that stupid. That's what I've learned online, that you can trick them one time. You might even trick them two times, like Wedge. But the third time you try to trick them and you come back and you're, you know, all Wedge is back and hey, everyone's back. You ain't going to get no views, Wedge. The only shit that you care about, right? Um, that's what I know about the internet. The internet is very, very unforgiving when it comes to 
faking cancer for money and not selling your magic cards, Boogie. Sell your money-effing magic cards. Hi, <laughs> guys.